While researching for the podcast, I found out about a trip to South America in the summer of 78, which brought you right. together as a team and supposedly played an important role in your subsequent title run. Uh, what do you remember about that specific trip? Well, I remember the trip to uh, Brazil very well because, uh, you know, when Coach Heathcote called us, we were still on, the, on, our, spring, on our summer break, and uh, he called me, he called Irvin, and he says, you know, if you guys want to go, we'll go. If you don't want to go, then we're not going. Um, I wanted to go, and, and Irvin wanted to go, because we'd enjoy playing basketball, and it was an opportunity to play six games in South America before we even started official practice at Michigan State, and we wanted to take advantage of that. You know, we loved playing together. We loved being on the court together, and I'm talking about all my teammates. We just enjoyed basketball. And we felt like it would give us an opportunity to grow and develop and, and have a head start on, you know, all the other schools in the, in, in the United States. We were looking at an opportunity to win a national championship. So this was going to give us, uh, you know, an early start towards that goal. So we went to uh, South America and we played uh, uh, teams from Argentina and Uruguay and, 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 and uh, Brazil and we represented the United States. Um, and we ended up winning that tournament. Uh, we split our games against Brazil, but in the big game, the big championship finale, we won that game in double overtime. And, and uh, it, Brazil was a heck of a team. Brazil at that time was rated as one of the top two or three uh, uh, international teams in the, in the world. And uh, we were able to beat them in Brazil. Uh, so... That gave us a lot of confidence that we could come back to the United States and that we continued to improve and if we stayed healthy, that we would certainly give ourselves a great chance to win a national championship against the uh, collegiate uh, opposition. I actually looked up that in that final game, you scored 27 while Magic contributed with 25 and Brazil was led by the legendary Oscar Schmidt. Uh, do you perhaps remember anything in particular about that game? Well, I remember that we couldn't pull away from them. I, I, you know, I, I remember it was a, it was a game. It was a packed house, and they were very boisterous, and you know, it was nip and tuck. It was back and forth. You know, we'd make a shot, they'd make a shot. You know, there was a lot of clutch shots made in that game, and uh, really, it was just a, a battle of survival, and 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 we were able to outlast them. I think we only won by maybe two points. Uh, um, you know they had a shot to tie it at the uh, at the end, and and uh, I think Magic got the rebound and uh, and tossed it down to the other end while time ran out. You know, very heads up type play. Uh, but I remember I had a lot of we had a lot of respect for Oscar Schmidt because you know, I think at that time he was probably about 19 years old. He was very young, but he was extremely competitive. He was very difficult to stop, and uh, you know we they. He, he was very similar in some ways to, uh, to, uh, you know, the great Larry Bird, who we ended up playing later on, uh, in our season for the championship. But, you know, just a guy who had supreme confidence and, uh, was very difficult to handle. And that was Oscar Schmidt. I don't, can't remember what he, he probably outscored both of us in that game. What did he score? Um, I didn't actually find anything about uh, his point totals yeah. but, he probably, I, but had, I, he probably had a high he probably had 25 or 30 i mean he was very very good very good <laughs> with the way he played he basically outscored everyone in every game now uh yeah, we were proud we were proud of our effort we were proud to uh number one you know bring the gold medal back to the united states uh you know we were we were the team from michigan state but we were representing the, our country you know wearing you know, usa uniforms and and you know we were a very proud, proud moment for us. I actually turned 21 years old in, in uh, in South America. So uh, that too was uh, kind of nice, uh, you know, being in, uh, in in in. I think we may have been in Sao Paulo by then, but it was very nice, uh, you know, celebrating my 21st birth, 21st birthday in uh, Brazil. I suppose it would be silly for me to ask whether. Oscar Schmidt at that point seemed like an NBA level talent. Well, he, he, yes, he was. He was. Uh, and, you know, he, he was as good as anybody that we'd ever played against. And, you know, he was as good as anybody that we played against in the, in, in the United States in college. 